Hey guys, so I noticed that Forbidden Planet were having a sale online, so I did a little Forbidden Planet haul, so I thought I would show you guys what I bought. So I bought 11 items and unfortunately only 10 of them have arrived. One of the items is not here. I have contacted uh, Forbidden Planet's customer services, but that could take a few days to get back to me. So hopefully that item that I am missing does turn up, and if it does I will do a separate video showing you that extra item. But it is definitely a shame because it's the item that I was looking forward to the most. Uh, it always happens that way, doesn't it? But like I said, I do have the other 10 here, so I will show you the other 10 items. So there's lots of Game of Thrones stuff in this haul, so we might as well start there. So the first item is this exclusive 6.5 inch Regal limited, oh, come on camera, limited edition uh, exclusive. If my camera will focus on it, it doesn't want to. So here is Regal. Obviously there's a lot of box glare, so apologies for that. And this is made by Titans. I have quite a few Titans products now. I've got some Game of Thrones, some Buffy. Um, I can't remember if they did Harry Potter. But these are the other Game of Thrones Titans you can receive. Turn it around to the back. Got this lovely picture of Regal. And that on the side as well. So that's the first item. The second item is pretty much the same and it's another Regal, but this time it's an exclusive 4.5 inch Regal and it is a New York Comic Con glow in the dark exclusive. I think it's glow in the dark or it's just an exclusive. One of them's glow in the dark as we go on anyway. So again, it's pretty much exactly the same, except uh, this one is 4.5 inches, like I said, and the other one is 6.5. So I'll just bring the other one back down to show you. That's the difference in those, but I got two Regals. Next up, yet yeah, another Titans thing. This is the glow in the dark. Three inch exclusive three pack glow in the dark of all the dragons, Regal, Drogon and Viserion. So yeah, I've gone on a bit of a Titans binge here and it seems to be all the dragons. So again, there's an idea of some of the other figures you can get. And the side there for you. And the top's not, not that important. But there we go, another one. I think they're really cute. The next Game of Thrones item is yet another Titans. So I do, I did notice on the website that they had a couple of Doctor Who and other Titans figures. So I imagine they're just selling off all their surplus Titans stock. But this is an exclusive three inch twin pack, Jon Snow and Tormund Giantsbane. Again, another New York Comic Con exclusive. Um, I think they're exclusive because they've got the snow on them as far as I could uh, tell. So I imagine, although I don't have it, you can get this as a normal two-pack without the flecks of snow, and the flecks of snow are what makes it an exclusive. So again, we'll go through the box. You'll pretty much be seeing the same figures here, I would say. We're fools together now, I like that. And that's my other Titans. And the next Game of Thrones item is again something Titan, but a little bit different. It is a Seven Kingdoms collection blind box. So we've done quite a few of these on my um, channel before, mystery minis and things like that. So these are the ones that you can get. And I think I'm going to do a separate video on this and my final Game of Thrones item, this, which is a Game of Thrones construction set. I'm just trying to think of the brand. Let me just try and see if I can get the brand for you. I think it might be Funko. No, it's McFarlane Toys. I thought it was uh, Funko. But yeah, this is a little mystery mini construction set as well. I think you can get one of 12. So these two I'm going to do a quick separate video on after this. So if you would like to see what I got inside these, then please wait for that other video. <laughs> so that's my last Game of Thrones item. Next up we have a couple of Funko Pops that were on sale. So if you have seen some of my previous videos before, You'll know that last year or the year before, I can't remember when it was, my boyfriend bought me the giant Spyro Funko Pop and I thought I would get Nasty Nork to go with him. So there's the Nasty Nork figure. It's very heavy for a Funko actually. I would still need the small Spyro, but I don't need Ripto because he's the second figure that I bought. So here's Ripto. I do love the Spyro franchise, I have to say, and Ripto is probably my favourite villain. Um, I think, apart from the normal Spyro, because I've obviously got the bigger version, I think that's all of them. So, and I'm not really fussed about getting the mini Spyro if I've got the big one. But yeah, I'm really, really happy to potentially almost complete a collect another collection. The next item is this Funko Pop uh, Birds of Prey Harley Quinn keychain. What does it say? Booby Trap. Booby Trap Battle. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of Birds of Prey, I have to be honest, but I do like Harley Quinn. I like Margot Robbie's portrayal of Harley Quinn. She's not my favourite character in the comics um, 
by any stretch, but I do enjoy Harley Quinn and I just thought this was cute. And it was £2 something, I think. In fact, I've got my sheet here, which hopefully says how much I paid for them all. So I've lied to you, the sheet doesn't say how much I paid, um, but I think she was about £2, something like that. And the final item, not the final item of my order, unfortunately, but the final item that's turned up is this Batman Arkham Knight Professor Pig figure. So I'm a huge fan of the Batman Arkham games, as you know, and I am slowly getting to this figure collection. So this is Laszlo Valentine, or Professor Pig. You might recognise this character if you watch the TV series Gotham. Like you say, here he is in Arkham Knight, and of course, he is in the comic books as well. Not my favourite villain by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, Professor Pig absolutely creeps me out. He's disgusting. Um, but I like him in the sense of when it comes to comic books and things like that, I think the scariest villains are the villains who are human, you know, who have no supernatural attributes or anything like that. These are the kind of people that are completely out of their mind that you, I mean, hopefully not, but the people that you could encounter in day-to-day -day life, um, which is quite morbid, but I do like that aspect of villains, if you know what I mean. So I don't really like Professor Pig now, but I needed it for my collection. And if we go on the back here, there's a couple more figures. So you have Azrael, there's Professor Pig, Man Bat and um, Red Hood. I don't have any of the others for this set, uh, but I do have a couple more Arkham um, figures in my collection. So that's it for this haul. Like I said, there is one more item, but it just hasn't turned up. I have contacted them today, so hopefully there'll be some results. And like I said, it's not only the item I was looking forward to the most, but it happens to be the most expensive of the order. So go figure, this is what happens. But anyway, my next video, like I said, I will open those two Game of Thrones blind uh, boxes for you. And... Uh, we'll see what I get. So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you like this kind of thing and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.